here is the chat GPT, and here is an empty Unity project. Today we will ask ChatGPT to remake my game called Come Together. In this puzzle game you have to connect two squares, blue and pink, and every time you make a move your player changes. We will ask ChatGPT to implement some basic stuff, player movement, main rules of the game, and also collision detection. So let's hop right into it. We've got a main camera, I also added players, for now they only have sprite renderers. I also added a simple block as a prefab, so that when we will be adding collision or something else, I won't need to change every single block that I have placed. That's it for the scene, let's begin. Now I will need to briefly tell ChatGPT about the game I'm going to make, so this is a concise explanation I have came up with. Let's send it and see what ChatGPT is gonna respond with. And then it crashed. But no problem, I sent it again and there we go. And oh my gosh, this script is already better than the previous one. Actually, ChatGPT's implementation is very, very similar to my one, to be honest. So we've got variables for two players, blue and pink respectively. Also, here's a private variable that keeps track of our current player. The grid size is here for some reason. It doesn't make any sense to me because it's literally one. So maybe we can ask ChatGPT to get rid of that. And here is the response we are getting. Let's continue talking about script. In start we are basically assigning our first player, which will be blue, and the update method already handles our movement just fine, I can already predict that. I like this implementation because we don't have to work with input system, we don't have to implement horizontal, vertical axes, and we don't need to make any checks on them. So yeah, chat GPT, this is a good one. And then after the movement itself, we change our player. Well. It's time to go to Unity and test. So I just created the script, copy-pasted all the contents, there we go, and there it is. Now we will just need to create an empty object, which will be our manager. Assign the script, and now it's time to assign our players. Great, let's see how it works. Hey, sorry for interrupting, but I just wanted to announce that we have a Discord server now. So if you want to chat or talk with the audience, see come together development highlights, then you are welcomed to join our community. Link in the description and let's continue. As you can see, it works perfectly fine, just as I expected. But we can walk through walls. So let's ask ChatGPT to make a collision check for us or something. Here's my simple request. At first I have seen that it wants to add a variable wall and I didn't quite understand why. But look at this, now I seem to be getting it. And so if right now I will assign my wall as a prefab to the script and this check will work totally fine with all the wall game objects that I am placing in the scene, then ChatGPT, you're a genius. <laughs> Updated the script and let's see how it works. Here is the wall game object that I am going to assign. But no, turns out it doesn't work for now. Maybe we should add box collider at first. And there we go, I added a hitbox to my wall. So let's see if it will work now. Though that didn't help, I even added box colliders to our players. Well, let's see what could go wrong. Something tells me that this method is at fault. I feel like it only works in 3D. Let's ask ChatGPT about 2D implementation. And this is my simple question. And yes, ChatGPT, you are absolutely right. Let's try this one. And unfortunately, still no desired result. Let's help it a little bit. In my implementation of this script, I use overlap box, so that's why I asked ChatGPT to use it as well. I'm pretty much sure that it should work. And good news, well, we are on the right direction. It partially works. But unfortunately, I can't just assign a prefab and hope that it will work for all the game objects. And yes, while the left block is completely transparent, the right one works as a block. Finally. But no worries, I'll just ask ChatGPT to re-implement this feature so it will work on all the game objects. And yes, ChatGPT, this is the implementation I have been waiting for from the very beginning. All we need to do is to tag our prefab, then all the blocks in the scene will be tagged as well, and the script will do its job. If you still don't know how it works, our script simply checks if the collider has the tag we specified. Easy as that. All we need to do is to write a string in the inspector that will be our tag. And on this note, I can finally announce that our collision works perfectly fine. And now for the final touch. 
let's send a message to the console once our players connect. And here ChatGPT bugged a little bit once again, but I just asked him to send final parts of the code again. And this is our implementation that we will copy and paste. And I must admit, this way of checking if players are colliding is cool and impressive. I simply used tag method while ChatGPT brought that to a whole new level. Our code checks if the distance between players is too small, then, well, they are colliding. It's very simple to understand. And prepare to watch the final result for this video. Come together, recreated entirely by artificial intelligence. And I guess that's it. ChatGPT managed to not only recreate the game, but he did impress me as well. I didn't expect it to handle mechanics so easily. So yeah, I can surely say that this experiment is successful. What else can I say? ChatGPT has a great potential. So I think that's it for this video. Thank you for watching till the very end. I really hope you liked this one. Don't forget to leave feedback and join our Discord server if you want. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Good luck. Thank you.